So it'd be a lose-lose situation. <laughs> All right, so let's have a look here. Uh, or not. All right, so first things first, we find Urgot. We walk on to him. And then we figure out the controls, because I really don't want to. Hooray, we figured it out. That was easy. Okay. So now we got proper vision. All right, so we are doing... Oh, I should also... How do I do that? Where is he? Follow him. Which is... Tab? No. I need it to stay up. QE... Wow, that's a very early kill. Oh, you stupid Zyra. Good job being with your team there. I have to look at the controls. Oh, you didn't get a piece of that, huh? She flashed over the wall that fast. That's too bad. But let's see. So you actually run Ghost. How interesting. There really aren't that many Urgot players, I think, that run Ghost like I do. I assume that's because you watch my stream, so that would encourage it, I imagine. If it wasn't for the encouragement of another Urgot player telling me to try Ghost, I never would have. So let's have a look. Your are upgrade... So first, let's have a quick look at the team composition so we get an idea of the general, like nature of this game looking at the team comps like so far i can see the urgot comp is phenomenal you've got a diver in vi who can be paired up with the nautilus as well to do some serious backline damage um which makes urgot's job a lot easier because he urgot is great at taking advantage of chaos and vi and nautilus cause a lot of chaos and yon and more um and the Misfortune are great backline champions. So team-wise, fantastic. Um, looking at the enemy team. Is that a Kai'Sa mid? That's a fucking Kai'Sa mid. What the hell? Um, well, I can't give such compliments to the enemy team. That is an awful team composition. They have... Their front line is Meganar. That's their front line. That is unreliable as... Oh, the Nard just killed himself. And now you should eat in. There it is. Beautiful. He's dead. Yeah, he's just dead. Wow! That Nar all-in timing was terrible. And your E use? Perfect! You baited that out beautifully. Absolutely beautiful. You don't expect early ganks like that. I'm sure that's the reason why the Nar fell for it. But... You made it... You made it so difficult for him to know that anybody was there. Because of how... Passive, you were playing another vice back. Oh, oh, that juke. Huh? Yeah, that's another kill. He's, uh, yeah, he's dead. Oh. Well played from both of you. Well played from both of you. Absolutely fantastic. That was perfect. Your ghost timing, perfect. Your, your E use, perfect. You were patient. Because that's the thing, the Vi, when she did her Q flash, it looked like she was being patient, but her aim was just a little bit off. In your case, you were both patient and spot on on the aim. Now this Gnar is crushed. And the best part is, you're freezing it. I, I, do I have anything to teach you here? This is perfect. I mean, obviously, there's more to a League of Legends game than the first five minutes, but so far, you are playing this absolutely perfect. I don't think I could do that. Hell, I'm sure I would have done worse. That Gnar is... Oh, that was a mistake. That's a painful mistake, but it's okay. You do have teleport. But yeah, you're going to have a hard time farming now. You should have eat away at that point, because you weren't going to win the trade. If you're not going to win the trade, going for that all-in is not a good idea, because even if he had landed, he still would have won the trade. Yeah, 
you, uh, you're not going to be able to get into this farm. That was a... Oh. That would have been even better if it connected after you did damage to you. It's too bad that it was just a smidge early, but that was a safety mechanism. It kept you alive and it got you to the minions. And right now, you should be, you should be focusing on the farm. Oh, that's a dead gnar. Wow. Wow. This gnar is playing terribly. Like, before, it was because you guys did things perfectly. He got baited in the first time because you baited him. And he didn't have wards. The second time, you landed your E in that critical moment. This third time was just him being dumb. That was a very stupid death on his part. Wow, this game, ooh. The guy says two kills, zero deaths. That's not a good sign. What's going on, bot lane? So, looking at the um, current situation in the game, it does not look too great for your team. It's not that big a deal, but your mid lane's very far behind in farm, and your bot lane is not winning, which Azira can eventually do enough damage for an entire team. So, it's scary to see them not losing this lane. By having kills is nice, it means she'll be able to get those critical first few items. Which will allow her to actually be a menace in team fights. And yeah, I agree. At this point, the Vi should basically never show up top lane again. And the Vi is bot side, doing what she needs to do. And nice. Oh, he's just dead. Good God, your level seven to is five. Oh, brutal. All right. At this point, I don't think there's going to be much I can say about how um, how you're playing Ergon in lane because at this point you basically can't fight. You were so far ahead. The Nar basically needs about three back-to-back -back ganks from the Kaiser to be able to kill him. And that requires him to be mega at the time. That's about it. Otherwise, the lane's done. So, at this point, like, in, like, if I were in your shoes, my goal would be tear down this turret as quickly as I can and look for teleport opportunities. Your bot lane is the lane of choice. That's the one you really want to help. And right now, it looks like it's going to be your bot lane that's going to need it. Like, in your case, what I would be doing, I'd be typing to my team, drop a deep ward in the furthest brush, and I'll try and find an opportunity to gain. Next time your R is up, do exactly that. Teleport it. Better if you have ghosts, but you did recently use it to pick up a kill, so that's not happening. The CS is really low, though. You're right. It is. That's definitely something to work on. Earlier, I saw your farming was fine, so I'm kind of surprised to see that you're actually pretty far behind. You're right. CSing is another important thing, because if your lane isn't going as well as your lane is right now, that farm difference would be a big deal. Because you do outscale him, but not if he's out farming. In this case, you've got two kills and two assists, so you are strong. You're much stronger than more than that, you also have a level advantage. You just need to hit 9, and you're good. And you're right, those little things do make a huge difference. Like, I haven't seen a flaw in your, in, um, your mechanics in lane, but I think, I think um, it's an excellent thing to point out that the farming could be better. Ooh. I can't help but feel like if you'd thrown your Q before your E, you would have landed it. Your level 9 to a 7. My god, what is he thinking? And the Vi's coming, this should be a free kill. Oh, that's not going to happen now. Yeah, unfortunately, Nar is a very slippery champion. 
The Vi really shouldn't be ganking here anymore, though. Uh-oh. Their team's coming. I would walk away if our E off. It's too late. Yeah, that E might have killed you. We'll see. You might be okay. Uh-oh. No, you are not okay. Ooh, you are not okay. Ah! Ah, did you have your E? Hold on. Eddie, cool, man. When you eat forward to harass the Gnar, that killed you. That's what killed you. You And in this case, um, you had knowledge of what was going on. When you eat forward, you saw at that point, before you had actually eat forward, that the Kaiza and the Echo were in the air. Did she just kill herself? Uh, looks like she did, yeah. Wow, that's a... Fast way to throw a lane. Damn. In fact, let's look at the gold. Um, how do we swap to gold? Oh, that speed. He's dead. Uh, yeah, he's dead. Okay, at least he managed to get the return kill. And a shutdown. That was a fucking shutdown. It's because of the farm difference. And yes, you're right. There are several times I think I noticed myself too that you were whole like you you let minions die because you didn't use your W to to last hit multiple minions quickly. You should not be afraid. Like the double your W is the one ability you should not be afraid to use um, to CS because it is, it is your cheapest ability. If it will get you CS and it won't put you in danger, that's also another point to mention. Using your W can sometimes put you in danger because it will either force the wave to push in a situation you don't want, or it'll be down at a time when the enemy can look for an aggressive trade. So it's not that straightforward. It's not. Wow, this guy. Uh oh. Oh no. You're fine. Wow, that was dumb on his part. And you should have popped your W once it connected. You would have gotten some parting damage on the way out, and he still wouldn't have been able to chase you. Um, small micro change. And thanks for follow a little Terio. And I've been doing well. Thank you, Sexy Rex. Love the name, by the way. Like, right there, that was not a good idea to throw your E out, because it was probably never going to land. Just specifically, when you threw your E out there, the only way it was going to land is if he literally walked into it. And the pattern of his movement did not show like that was something he was going to do. So in the end, all you ended up doing was wasting him on that. That was a good E. Excellent. He's dead. Just press your R again. He's dead. You got to remember, and this is something um, um, you really can't take for granted. When, you're en when the enemy is low enough, you got to press R a second time to reel them in. Otherwise, it will wait till the end of the ability. And if at the end their health is above 25%, it won't reel them in. Like in this case, if you held off on your R and he popped a potion, you wouldn't have gotten the kill. He would have gotten away. I'm not sure if he would have gotten away, but he potentially could have outlasted your R, which should mean you did. Oh my god, what is he doing? What is this NAR doing?! Oh my god, what is he doing? He's two levels under, you can't do that. Even if he was mega at the time, or excuse me, even if he was about to be mega at the time, which he was not, you cannot do that. Nar's advantage when he's mini is that range. This Nar is not taking advantage of that. That is the, the, the crux of playing Nar. Wow, she landed that? But she didn't. She wasn't stupid enough to argue because you're big. She's only level ten. You're level eleven. You're massive. Five one two. Could easily kill her right now. Like your R is about to come back up. You could easily kill her if she was stupid enough to fight. Oh my, that's a lot of damage. This is before Death Stance, by the way. And he's pinging. He's tilted badly. The Nar, I gotta say, is making so many mistakes. And that's sort of the problem. You cannot be playing a champion like Gnar, or Karma, or Vayne. Any of these intensely difficult champions. 
um, unless you have a pretty extreme proficiency. And one of the things you learn very quickly is that these champions do very poorly if they ever get near a bruiser, because that bruiser will destroy them. And Ur Urgot's a bruiser. That's pure and simple. If Urgot gets on top of a champion like Gnar or Vayne or whatever, he will kill them. Post that. And before that, potentially, too. And the Gnar is just running up to your range to your E. Something to keep in mind. Urgot's E is a 400 range ability. Wow, your team is getting kills. Nice. Urgot's E is 400 range. Gnar's auto attack range is at least 500. So he has no reason to get close. He can keep you literally at arm's length. To the point where you can never land your E's. And in my ELO, that's what you typically see. At this, like, I would not recommend somebody playing Gnar if they are a silver level player, because it is really difficult to play. Because your positioning is literally everything. And this Gnar is not even using his off well. I feel like the Vi is gank for your lane too much. I mean, it's easy pickings. And right now it looks like your mid's caught up is doing well, your bot lane's doing well. Your Vi can afford to do this. So, I approve. She's getting you more fed. And already you have... Oh, you could have... Oh, never mind. That's your ward. I was thinking you could have killed that ward when you walked away from it. It was your ward. He probably knows Gnar, it's just it requires an extreme amount of proficiency to play him well. Not only that, but knowledge. And it looks like he has a serious knowledge. Good flash. Good flash. That's a... Wow! So well played from the Vi! So well played! Are you sure this is silver? That was beautiful! Oh my god, and the heal. Sometimes, I gotta say, man, you get to see some pretty crazy mechanics and outplays from even silver-level players. Or was this Vi Smurf? Although she's 346, so it's hard to say she was smurfing. It's more likely that she just had one really good play. That was really good. We play on well too well for coaching. It doesn't matter. There's always something to learn. You will definitely learn more from your losses than your wins. You will learn more from your fuck-ups than when you are kicking ass. But that said, there's always something to learn. I mean, there's already been a lot of little things. Oh. How do you die to this? This gnar? Yeah, he's dead. He's not getting out of this. I feel like you should have uh, used your Q and then your E. Like, right there, you had time. I, I think I know what you were worried about. You were worried about him hopping over the wall. But I'm pretty- that ability has a long cooldown. Let me see. Okay, we'll find out exactly how long that cooldown is in a second here. But it's a long cooldown. You had enough time to throw your Q at him. Oh, he's so bad. Oh! Oh, yeah! Everyone lives! You've got a lot of cash you should spend. Uh, you should run. You should run. Yeah, overall, like, I, there's, there are very few criticism I can give in the lane. Clearly, your CSing could do some improvement. Um... I feel like your E usage, there were moments where there was literally a 0% chance of it getting anything. And I wonder if that has to do with needing to get a, a, a firmer grasp on its range, or whether you were trying to make predictions of what the enemy will do and you were just wrong in the prediction. But that's definitely something to work on. Because my E's with, everyone has that happen. 
But there were several E's that you threw out that I feel like had a 0% chance of landing because your opponent wasn't within range and wasn't going to. And there was also a couple... Huh? Uh, what? Oh, you TP. This game's been out for 10 years, and somehow that shit was never dealt with. I mean, it's not a big deal, it's a replays, and this this game is not about the replays. It's a fucking slaughter. Yeah, in games like this, it really doesn't matter what- oh, oh my god, I thought she was gonna quit. In games like this, how you play with the team is a lot less important than in close games. Because right now, I mean, you're basically just hard shoving, hard splitting. When your team could maybe use your help, but your team's doing so well, it really doesn't matter. Like, the enemy team would need to throw in spectacular- or your team would need to throw in spectacular fashion for the enemy team to win. Right now, the gold lead is nearly 10k. An 8k gold lead at 21 minutes is absurd. And you just got a turret just splitting. That's the thing, your team fucked up, several people died, you got nothing over here, but you took a turret for free, and this is what was gonna happen. You could have joined your team, potentially got an extra kill or two, maybe turn that situation around or you take a turret, and basically it's all guaranteed. Now, it's all about fundamentals. You just basically want to ensure that you're always getting more than you lose. Uh... Uh, wow. They are all here. Four of them and an ash arrow, just for you. Yeah, this was a mistake. You didn't have enough vision to look for this. And you had wards. What you needed to do, if you really wanted to make a play over here, slap a ward over this wall. Like, just drop this ward right here, and that'll give you all the knowledge you need. It wouldn't have in this case... Well, actually, no, that's your pink ward. But yeah, had you dropped that ward over the wall right here... Oh my. Oh! The Echo R used the way God intended. For damage. Not for cowardice. That Meganar ult was terrible. Oh, no, he's not. I thought he might actually be there. But yeah, in your case, you needed to drop that ward over the wall. And again, like I said, this game is all about, at this point, it's about just basically um, dotting your I's and crossing your T's. All you need to do at this point to win is just conservatively go for the objectives group. That's it. That's all you need to do. You don't need to take risks. You don't need to split. Although splitting is definitely a good option since you're strong. Right now, you are definitely strong enough to 1v3. And when I mean 1v3, I mean you will at least kill one of them before you die, and if you get the fear off, you could potentially kill all four. They sent four. That's the reason why you died. But yeah, like at this point, it should just be going for objectives, playing safe, um, splitting when you've got teleport up, joining your team, just pushing as five, going for, going for inhibitors, going for turrets, going for dragons, going for barons. There's no point going for picks anymore. It's not what Urgot does best anyways. Right now, your goal should be just go for objectives. Kills don't matter anymore. They matter for them, but they don't matter for you guys. So right now, this would be your next objective, and that's what I would go for. Another wide ash arrow. Yeah, this game's about to end. This game's cool. Ming, overall, again, you're right, this probably wasn't the best replay to do a coaching game of, but... There are definitely things to learn from. I'd say probably the thing that you need to work on most is definitely farming. At this point in the game, you should have 30 more CS than you have. And that's just all from the lane phase. Well, you don't need to run away from this. Just take the turret, it doesn't matter. Turret's low, lots of minions, no enemies nearby. You don't need to run away. What have you feared the turret? 
and excellent. You got the 50 gold. That's probably the most important part when ending a League of Legends game, that 50 gold. Very critical. And R is gold for though. Oops. Look, again, Nar is an incredibly difficult champion to play well. Very hard because he's a champion all about zone control and um, positioning. And if you ever find yourself in a position where you're getting hit by Ergo IDs, you're gonna die. Just same same is true with Karma. If you ever get hit by an Ergo ID, you are probably dead. All right, let's do Arium. So anybody 